The holes that are in the bottom, that is for the steel cables for the tendons to go through. The small concrete square in the middle is used for temporary stressing of the segments. Every segment that's cast has another segment that's cast right up against it so that the keyways lock together. There are 744 segments total. You can see it's got the final coat on it for the exterior paint. You'll see pockets that have been cast into the concrete barrier wall. Those are recessed for the aesthetic lighting that's gonna be installed. Each of these fins has a minimum of three sets of post-tensioning tendons. First of its kind in America, as far as I know. You'll be able to see Howard Franklin Bridge off to your right. You'll be able to see the lights from the Sunshine Skyway off to the left. You get an incredible sunset. You'll see metal grates, that's our drainage system. We never put any additional water down on the ground. You can see the amount of steel that goes into any one of these barrier wall sections. They use external vibrators that actually shake the forms. It helps the concrete fill all the voids. The pivot crane will pick them up and literally pivot out over the steel truss system that you can see to my left. We are in span 10. Those are external post-tensioning tendons. They're called external simply because they're outside of the concrete. That's the segment number, the date that it was cast. All right, All right. go back up top and then probably head to the east end. Behind me, you can see the overpass that's being built for the new northbound connection to the Selman Expressway. You can see the steel tub girder bridge. This wall section is approximately 40 feet high. One of the things that makes this project special is the size of it and how quickly we're building it. It's a $230 million job. It's gonna take a little over two years. Folks are gonna be able to drive from Pinellas County east through Tampa to wherever they need to go without having a single stoplight.